Hello together. In today's video, I show you a few tips and tricks when using the transaction SE16, the data browser in SAP. So let's open the transaction SE16. And I pick a table with some entries. I pick as book. So uh, let's browse some data. And we see here uh, some entries and the limit is 200. And if I want to know how much entries the table have, so I can increase this number here. Or I can do a setting, settings, uh, user parameters. And here I, I can check the box display maximum number of hits. Then I click on OK. And I browse again. And now I see the entries of the table as book. It's over 100,000. And now if I do a selection, for example, I want to know how much entries with the carrier LH. And then I see uh, only 200 are displayed, but I note that the records are above 20,000. Yes. Um, second, uh, you can use the old SE16 standard list. The, the design is a bit different with much less features, but the list is faster as the ALV grid. But I always use the ALV grid, so I pick it again. Um, next, we see uh, the column headers are the name of the table fields. And this is uh, important for developers, but sometimes they are not so clear. And for this, you can uh, uh, display the field label. And if we pick this, and now we see the description of the columns, and this could be uh, clearer sometimes. So let's do this back. So next is the, the meaning of the column colors. We see here a dark blue. The first, the, the columns mandan to booking ID are dark blue. Then we see green columns and light blue columns. That means the first dark blue columns are key columns. So, uh, uh, let's open the up up dictionary to compare this. So we see the key columns for uh, mandant to booking ID. Next is the custom ID, and that means that there is a check table as custom, for example. And we see there are some more. Uh, columns with a check table, all the columns with the green color. Um, next is the option of uh, filtering, of fast filtering. This is the normal way to filter values or to define a filter, but you can do this faster. Click on the column, right mouse click and set filter. And now you can set the custom ID for filtering. Or I pick a single cell and I click on right mouse click and set filter again. And now the value is selected and I can pick this filter. Okay, so let's clear this filter. Go back. Uh, Next, for display, we can, uh, for formatting, we can respect the conversion exits. It 
that uh, sometimes the columns or the, the leading zeros are deleted or cleared and it's more readable for display. Um, we can also call the check tables here. For this, we click on a cell without the check table. Then we click on the button check table and we see all the check tables which are used in this table. So if we click on the column with a check table behind, for example, a custom ID. And if we click on the button, then we browse directly into the check table as custom, for example. So, and if I click in a single cell and then on the button check table, then we jump directly to the record in this check table. Okay, for a better view, I can activate a stripped pattern, stripe pattern, then click on layout display and with stripe pattern. Then I click on OK. And now we see a lighter and a darker record. Okay, so um, I can do a, a summation here. Normally, the the sum is displayed below the entries. However, you can also display it at the top. For this, we click on display and display total lines above the entries. Okay, so let's go back and uncheck this box. Um, and if you make a frequent reports and do not want to use all the columns, you can also create a layout and have this code up automatically at startup. So let's uh, pick the Mandan column and the Smoker column and we pick this to the right side so the columns are no longer displayed. And then we click on save. And here it is very important to check the checkbox user specific. If you don't, uh, the layout will be used system wide for all users. So let's clear the slash because the slash means it's not user specific. And I pick here test and I need the description. Uh, test layout, for example. Then I click on OK and OK. And now we see the client column and the smoker column are no longer displayed. And if I call this transaction again and I pick the table as book and I browse the data here. And I see now no uh, client and no smoker column. Okay, and it's important to click on the button select layout because here you see if a, a layout is pre-selected. Okay. If I no longer want this, I click on layout and I can uncheck the box default setting or I can delete the whole layout. For this, I go to uh, settings, then layout and manage. Then I pick the line and I click on delete. Then on save. And then I go back and I call the transaction SE16 again and table name as book and I browse the data again and now we see the column client and smoker again. Okay, that's it again. 
If you want to support me and my work, comment on my videos, give me a thumbs up and most importantly subscribe to my channel. I would be happy if you click back on my next video. Thank you and see you soon.